Welcome to Get Your FRQ On. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate average rate of change problems on your graphing calculator. To begin, you're going to want a function stored in Y1, specifically the one you're finding the average rate of change for, if you know its definition. Uh, if you're using information from a table, you would just get that information directly from the table. Uh, but let's say I have this function and I want to know the average rate of change of this function between, say, x equals 4 and x equals 6. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take advantage of these y variables. All right, so I need the formula for average rate of change is going to be, uh, for us, y of 6 minus y of 4 over 6 minus 4. So I'm just going to do that. Um, we'll put that in parentheses first. Alright, so variables, y variables, y of 6 minus y of 4 divided by 6 minus 4. Uh, now, because of the way this function is defined, I guess I could maybe do the arithmetic to actually find the function value at 6 and 4. Uh, but if it's a calculator active question, you probably wouldn't take the time to do that. You would just use your calculator to do that for you. Uh, and it turns out to be about negative 0 0.12554112255, um, which you could either truncate or round on the AP Calculus exam. You wouldn't even have to round it or truncate it as long as it's correct to three decimal places. Um, but one of the ways you can do average rate of change problems on your calculator is just to define the function in Y1 and then take advantage of those variables, specifically the function variables. 